In a study of land helplessness published in 1967, Seligman and Meyer reported an experiment in which 24 dogs were randomly assigned to three groups, escape, no escape, and control. Dogs in the escape and no escape groups were restrained and subjected to electric shocks. The dogs in the escape group could stop the shocks by pressing a panel with their heads, but the dogs in the no escape group had no control over the shocks. During this phase of the research, the control dogs did not receive any shocks. One day later, all 24 dogs were tested in a shuttle box. In a shuttle box, the floor that the dog is standing on becomes electrified 10 seconds after the light switch is on. To avoid a shock, the dog just needs to jump the barrier to the other side within 10 seconds. Each dog was given 10 trials in the shuttle box, and the data that Seligman and Meyer collected looked something like this. There are two columns. The first records which group each dog belongs to, and the second records their scores on the dependent variable. In this case, the dependent variable is the average time taken to jump the barrier by each dog, recorded in seconds. The grouping variable, or independent variable, has value labels, and these have been added in the variable view. So here we have used 1, 2, and 3 to represent the three groups of dogs. In the data view, each row is a dog. The first dog was in the escape group and had an average jumping time of 10 seconds. The ninth dog was in the no escape group and had an average jumping time of 60 seconds. To analyze this data, we'll use a one-way between groups ANOVA, which tests for statistically significant differences between three or more independent sample means. If the result of the ANOVA is statistically significant, we will follow it up with a set of post hoc tests. Each post hoc test will be used to make a pairwise comparison between two group means. So in the Analyze menu, select Compare Means and then One Way ANOVA. Move the independent variable, which is group, into the factor field and the dependent variable, time, into the dependence list. Click Post Hoc. Here there are a range of post hoc testing options available. Because we don't yet know whether or not homogeneity of variances can be assumed, we'll select one option from each section, and later we'll make a decision about which to interpret. From the Equal Variances Assumed list, we'll select Tukey which will test the difference between each pair of means. As we have three groups, SPSS will produce three Tukey tests, one for each pair of groups. We'll also select Games Howl, which we will interpret instead of the Tukey tests if we're unable to assume homogeneity of variances. Click Continue. In Options, select Descriptives, homogeneity of variance test, and Welsh. We'll only interpret the Welsh test if homogeneity of variances cannot be assumed. Also select means plot, which will be useful for interpretation. Click continue, and click OK.